가겠다고 하니까 He let he said he let her go if take a photo. Yo, this is straight out of the mo- out of a movie, bro. These Korean men are going wild out here. She's a triple OG, bro, and you're raping her. The fuck is wrong with you? Destroy illegal filming. A woman everywhere we go feels like the club burning sun. Yo, she's cooking. She just cooked everyone. I can't compute. I don't get it. Why was she harassed? Do you get me? Like she was harassed for exposing harassment. How does it make any sense? I need these ladies to get revenge. And not just some white boy revenge where it's just click clack pow and that's it. No, we need torture. Torture, motherfucker. What? So they can learn. I've never heard anyone use 11 fold, bro. It's supposed to be 10 fold. They use 11 fold. Why? Because it goes to 11. Okay, people. Back again with another one. Bong Kaka reacts. I. We're going to react to this video by BBC News. Something about a K-pop scandal. I did hear about the Burning Sun scandal, but the videos were too long. So I'm hoping they're going to summarize it for me in this 15 minute video. Okay. In South Korea, K-pop stars have fame, fortune, and millions of female fans. Where's the subtitle? Yo, okay. But oh, they don't. Holy. Why won't you have subtitle? This English this is BBC. You have 16 million subscribers and you can't generate. I'm not asking for actual subtitles. Auto subtitles. You just have Korean. Holy. A hidden world where videos of women being drugged, raped, and humiliated were shared. What? Wait. They got a bunker and a room, a soundproof room. Yo, that's some horror movie-ish, yo. Their crimes would never have been revealed had secret messages between... No, you gotta explain who these people are. I know Big Bang. I know 2N1, uh, 2NE1. But beyond that, I mean, I'm, we're talking about... This is about the older K-pop groups, right? Not the newer ones, right? Them not been late. This is the story of those who tried to bring them to justice. That guy looks familiar. Burning Sun, definitely. Yeah, this, yeah, I kind of heard about this. This was since a year ago, right? And it's a club in Korea, Burning Sun. Some wild ish going on involving someone from Big Bang. Like you gotta understand, Big Bang was big back in the day. I was a fan. I, I like one of their songs. What was it? Um, Bad Boy. One of my favorites. I didn't. I mean, just I just like that song. Okay, <laughs> that was about it. But they were big, bro. They were. Uh, what was right now is Blackpink, right? Or, or BTS? Yeah, they were that kind of big back in the day. That's why this is serious. Oh, this is the, starts with you know this is uh, this is the one guy in big wait see big bang because when i look at the guy's face i don't remember him i remember g dragon i remember the guy with the deep voice and the guy who looks like he's from china that's about it i don't remember the other two who'd risen to fame with ballads like amy with an edgier image than the typical k-pop star he was hugely popular with female fans and critically acclaimed Oh, I guess he's a solo in artist, September right? In 2016, news broke that Tong's girlfriend had accused him of a sexual offense. Yeah, 
그 경미란 여성에게 걸렸어요. 일단 몰카라는 단어는 한국에만 있는 단어고 몰카. 여성이 인지하지 못하는 상황에서 본인이 수치심을 느낄 만한 상황을 카메라로 담고 찍어서 유포를 할수 있는 그런 것들이 있고 누군가의 인생을 망가뜨리기 위해서 Tong is questioned by the. Oh, well, my bad for anyone who's listening and not looking. Uh, I think she's talking about him and his girlfriend and him filming Molka. And this guy is supposed to be some famous singer in K-pop. So yeah. Police, but they never examine his phone, and he thinks he's in the clear. <laughs> So he said it's a joke, supposed to be a joke. He's trying to do the whole, I don't know. But three years later, someone with access to Chung's phone data decides to leak it. Ooh. It eventually reaches journalist Kang. 처음에는 그렇게까지 심각할 줄은 진짜 몰랐어요. 그러니까 저는 2016년에 그 경미라는 몰카 그 언론에 보도된 그 내용에 있는 그 불법 촬영물이 있나 없나 정도가 쟁점이 될줄 알았어요. Okay, that wasn't that important yet. Wasn't there. But Kang found videos of Chong with other Oh, she's saying that she she was wondering if that Molka video of his girlfriend was in it. Woman shared on a chat group with his male friends on popular messenger app Kakao Talk. All the working in bars until recently they were my toys, now they are like trash. Also yeah, in the Kakao Talk group He's talking reckless about these women. It was Che Chong Hun. He played lead guitar for K pop rock band FT Island and was given center stage in their stadium concerts. But the biggest celebrity in the chat group was megastar Sung Mi. He had become famous in the K pop supergroup Big Bang. And also. Yeah, this is the, the Big Bang member that I don't even remember. So had a solo career. Like there's two Big Mac members, kind of a black hole for me. That I, I just don't. There was one guy who was good at dancing, and there's another another guy. I, I remember the other three. They were the main ones. Kang begins going through the celebrity friends' Kakao Talk messages from 2015 to 2016. My heart still hurts when I think of that group chat. She had no idea it would be serious. Messages showed Sing Lee procuring prostitutes for potential investors in his business projects. What? Okay. This is an open secret. This is how people get projects, okay? Lobbying, you know, investors. So they got to like, be, um, what do you call it? Hospitality or something, ish, right? So investor asks for something. I guess they're asking for prostitutes. So this guy gets them. This is what I'm assuming was happening, okay? Guest from Taiwan. Um, he's saying, ah, oh, man, these names. I don't know these people. I'm arranging prostitutes now. Uh, uh, uh. So Kim has to, they're kind of arranging prostitutes and one of them has to lead them to the hotel room. One chat directly incriminates Tong and Choi in sexual crimes. Incident in 2016, one woman was raped while she was unconscious. Hey Kim, we got caught because you turned the flash on. Why did you turn the flash on? What do you mean flash? The woman had been gang raped by Chong and Choi, with Holy. other friends and members of the chat group present. She was so drunk, she almost cracked her head. I got so scared thinking the girl had a real concussion. Sound over what? Sound over skull cracking when she fell. Brother Jung and I were really surprised. This is Park. I don't know who Park is, okay? And man was laughing. Jung was laughing in the chat. Most of the fans are female. Oh, yeah. Definitely. They, they project a gentle image, right? These K-popers. And maybe, yeah. And they were disgusting. But it makes sense. 
a lot of the worst men the my bad a lot of the worst you know these they just look innocent that's why a lot of them get away with it like a lot of these people like um, Twitter, like, okay, in Malaysia, this is the only way I can relate to this. In Malaysia, there are a bunch of liberal tweet, famous tweet to tweet, what do you call them? Tweets, Twitter celebrities. They always look like beta males, bro. They always look like they have soft features. They look like, like in Malaysia, we call it jambu, okay? They look like fanboys, but they behave like monsters, okay? <laughs> they do. And they act like liberals. They have liberal views. But they're monsters. They're raping women, bro. Forcing. I don't know what it is, bro. And the K-pop, I guess what she's saying, these K-popers have a lot of lady fans. They project a certain image, like a very androgynous, feminine image. So they seem gentle. But they're monsters. I mean, these guys. Not. I'm not saying all K-popers, okay? But these guys. Kaka. So it comes as a shock to them. The fans. I'll talk messages. She finds clues as to why this group felt above the law. <laughs> so she's she's trying to find out why they get away with it, right? She's talking about joy of FT Island, drink driving, <laughs> but a police officer protected him. So she got scared because of that. It's, it's like something bigger here, right? So Choi is saying he got a call from a Yongsan police station. Kim is asking what did they say. Choi says the officer in charge of my case wish me happy birthday. She's saying there's a powerful police officer behind Song Ri and his friends. You see like one thing you need to understand about Korea. Korea is a very conservative, um, masculine country. Okay, even more masculine than Malaysia. Malaysia is almost kind of like, like Malaysian women are kind of empowered in a way. It's not obvious, but we, we kind of live in, in a society where we do respect the woman. Okay, it's not like to an acceptable level yet, but there is kind of a, you know, but in Korea it's kind of different. Like this is why these kind of things, I mean, I'm not saying we're good at this over here. We're still bad. It's a different vibe in Korea. Like, it's super masculine. You get me? Super, pat pat what's the word? Patriarchy. I hope I pronounce it right, okay? My bad. I'm not, English is my second language. He was using his contacts with police and wealthy investors to open bars and clubs in Gangnam. Okay. This is some um, gang shit, I guess. So he has police connections so he can open... Bars. This is a businessman. I mean, he might be a K-pop artist, but now he's a businessman. I mean, this is 2016. It's not now. Jung and Choi created their own bar called Mildang Pocha. Within days of the opening, Chong was recording Bulka on the premises, sharing it in a direct message with another friend. It's bloody hilarious. I shag her on the third floor corridor. Record, they record the whole ish, bro. They recorded the whole thing. The friend's ambitions continue unchecked. And in 2018, Sung Lee launches a major new club. Burning, burning sun. Oh, okay. This is the burning sun, I guess. The club was located in Le Meridian Hotel in Gangnam, now derelict. When it opened, Ooh. Burning Sun was the most prestigious nightclub in South Korea. Former employees spoke to us on the condition we concealed their identities. They were MDs, short for merchandisers, who would make sure there were girls in the club to cater to VIP Merchand guests. Merchandisers. We attract male customers. MDs photograph pretty women who are drunk secretly without their permission. Yo, that's wild. And they send them to the VIPs. The VIP room is looking for a hot girl, MD1. Looking for one. So these are merchandisers, right? He's chasing me. Help me find one quick. 
Don't need a hot girl anymore. Just looking for one that looks out of it. GHB was used to lie as a date rape drug to the customers who use it in private rooms. Whatever happened in there, no one would hear a thing. That's what he's saying. He saw women unconscious given G GHB date rape drug at Burning Sun. Almost every day, he said. A young woman who was a regular guest at Burning Sun agreed to speak to us about her experiences. We are protecting her identity. On a night out with friends, she lost consciousness and woke up in a hotel room with a man who had given her drinks at Burning Sun. He ran at me suddenly, forced my clothes off. I'm not saying this because she's saying this. I tried to scream, but he covered my mouth. I was in so much pain, he wouldn't stop. It was terrifying, definitely. She vomited, bro. She begged, she knelt begged him to send her home. He let, he said he let her go if take a photo. Yo, this is straight out of the mo out of a movie, bro. I've seen this shit in a Korean movie. They weren't lying. Those movies were based on something. Those fucked up Korean thriller movies were based on something, right? This is wild, bro. Like, I guess those movies weren't lying. These Korean men, crazy. Korean men are going wild out here, doing some wild shit. It's fucked up. <laughs> they weren't lying. I'm scared of Korean men now, okay? Y'all scare me. Come on, man. Don't become the Japanese. <laughs> the ones you hate. I thought you were cool. He told me to smile, but I couldn't. She said. She wanted to cover her face. He did not let. Just... She made a peace sign. She went out. That's some, I don't know. She goes to the police to report rape. The man claims they had consensual sex. Good luck. Using the photo as evidence. Motherfucker, I've seen this in the movie. Exactly what's happening here. Damn. He was allowed to leave Korea. You can see from the image how big this club was, bro. I mean, it's derelict, derel, derelict now. But look at to this. Leave Korea. Must have been epic. This club is a big ass club, bro. How many dungeons do they have? Like where they could just do some wild ish, you know? This is wild, bro. These people are crazy. And it's probably still happening now. Even in my country, it's, it's probably happening, you know, in places like our. You know, those places with a lot of nightlife and clubs and shit. Especially in, you know, you know what's wrong with uh, Korea? This might be the same uh, Korea in Malaysia. Is they are maybe repressed. Yeah, I'm guessing they're a religious society, just like us. A bit re the men are a bit repressed. So when you're repressed, you tend to jump to some crazy shit. Because you're so repressed, your brain just works different. Like, even you can't just be, you know... Good old S-E-X is not gonna, you know, it has to be some fucked up shit, like rape. That's why in my country, there's a lot of rape. There's a lot of Muslim men in rape cases. They're raping everyone, bro. They're raping, they're, they're raping little boys. They're raping little girls, raping their own daughters. They're raping babies, bro. They're raping old women. There's a case of these, one of these men raping an old woman, bro. <laughs> She's not even double your age she's triple fuck she's a triple og bro and you're raping her the fuck is wrong with you but that's what repression does to the man let this let these motherfuckers fuck that's what i'm saying don't let them get repressed they go crazy and they do some this wild shit you know this i don't know is there a name for it this is it's depraved this is what happens when you repress you know like a lot of the fucked up men are catholics or like muslims Let's be honest here. Repressed Catholics or Muslims or whatever religion it is in Korea. These are repressed men. And I'm not giving them an excuse. 
I'm just saying that may be the reason why. Or maybe they just fucked up. There's no reason. You know, white boys don't need a reason to be <laughs> serial killers. You know, you know, it could be an end. You know, white boy, an end could bite them. And yeah, he became a serial kill killer because an end bit him one day. They don't need a concrete reason. Maybe it, maybe there's no reason too. That's possible. Yo, this club looks big. Epic. But it also looks kind of um, claustrophobic. The, 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 the ceilings are kind of low. In January 2019, <laughs> Yo, Koreans are good dancers, by the way. B-boys. The Korean B-boys are nice. This empire is dealt a public blow. Customer in his 20s assaulted by security guards at a club. CCTV from outside Burning Sun shows a customer beaten up by club staff as police stand by. <laughs> police stand by. Then a shocking case of Mulka surfaces, filmed inside Burning Sun and no. Oh, Mulka. Mulka is. Damn, you had. You, you should have explained it to me, the uh, narr narrator. <laughs> I thought Mulka was the name of a person. I guess Mulka is. Footage or some ish? That's a red bathroom video. It goes viral on porn sites. Under I don't know if you could hear it, but I just farted. Under pressure from the police and media. What the hell is this? Is this a bunker? Is that what it is? Is that what I think it is? Is it a bunker? Burning Sun closes its doors for the last time. Holy... Oh, I guess when you want to in, uh, go inside the club, there's kind of like a stair... Porn sites. Staircase. Under pressure... Looks nasty, yo. <laughs> Looks nasty. ...from the police and media, Burning Sun closes its doors for the last time. Hmm. Yo, they got her acting, you know, this woman, this, this lady, lady acting like a, a cast of a Korean thriller movie driving. There's always a scene of the investigator driving for some reason in Korea. I like it, but there's always this, that kind of scene. Data. And like cityscapes and, and shit. From the police and media, Burning Sun closes its doors for the last time. Kang knows the phone data from the informant which incriminates Sung Lee and his friends could Big up all the snitches, all the whistleblowers. Big up all the snitches and the whistleblowers. Without y'all, we wouldn't have discovered this fuck-ish, bro. You know why I, I, I rewinded that? I like the music at that part. Kang knows the phone data from the informant which incriminates Sung Lee and his friends could now become a huge story. Mm -hmm. She publishes the first part of her investigation, exposing Sung Lee. What about prostitution and allegations in Burning Sun? And it's not long until she exposes Chong and Choi Tu. She's cooking. Police have launched an investigation into Jung Jun Yo, that's dramatic. Allegedly filming, distributing illegal sex videos. That's why Choi has been accused of sharing illegal video in the chat room, colluding with the police. It's going wild until the police do their job properly. As more arrests are made, the scandal is becoming increasingly divisive, stoking Korea's tense gender politics. Women hold a Lately, like I said, gender politics that exists in Korea. They're trying to sort it out because it's a patriarchal society, a madly patriarchal society. Okay. A series of protests calling for the police to do. Is that kind of like their Me Too, I guess, right? No, this scene is wow. And it's not even a scene, it's reality. It's straight out of, out of a movie. As more arrests are made, the scandal is becoming increasingly divisive, stoking Korea's tense gender politics. Women hold a series of protests calling for the police to do more to protect them. Destroy illegal filming. 
A woman everywhere we go feels like the club burning sun. Yo, she's cooking. She just cooked everyone. <laughs> she said everywhere we go. To protect them. She said everywhere we go feels like the club burning sun. Don DeMarco. She's cooking. Some men claim they're being unfairly targeted by feminists. <laughs> Some men think they're being unfairly targeted. Holy F, bro. Like, are you dumb, bro? You just caught doing all that ish and you think you're being unfairly targeted. Don't do it. You're not being unfairly targeted. You targeted those women. You're the one doing all the targeting. My guy, like, are you dumb, bro? Where's your consciousness? Unfairly targeted in the face of all these allegations. What the fuck is wrong with you? Like, how dumb are you? This is wild, bro. This is wild. This is why we need wokeness. This is why I tell everyone to stay woke. Because things are fucked up. You need to open your eyes. Wake up. Stay woke. Because things are fucked up. We're fucked up. That's why we need this shift in culture. Because we're fucked up. Don't you realize it? Wake the fuck up. Rage Against the Machine said it. What the fuck you, do you think they were saying it because they were trying to do a song about alarm clocks? No. They're saying wake the fuck up. Wake up. Stay woke. Wake up and stay woke. What do you think Rage Against the Machine was raging again? A washing machine? No. <laughs> Unfairly targeted my fucking foot, bro. Lotak dia. Aku tak faham tu. Kau gila. Kau nak mampus. Kepala anjing. Kepala bana, kepala takut. Kau ingat ni apa tu? Are you fucking dumb, bro? Minus. Well, I gotta translate for people who don't watch, right? Liu Li Sungri's friend and business partner said in an interview that if Sungri's Kakao Talk messages from three years ago are a crime, aren't all Korean men criminals? Since publishing the stories, Kang has been heavily trolled. Yeah, since she published the story, she was trolled. That's wild. What those fans gave me, she said. Deeply personal attacks. At the time, I was pregnant. So they called me Femi... Femi what? Pregnant Femi something. Left-wing Femi. Oh. Left-wing? Why are they throwing you praises? <laughs> <laughs> using my name, putting those sort of nicknames. I was harassed for three, he was harassed for three years for exposing fuckeries. Try to brain that. I can't brain that, bro. I can't compute. I don't get it. Why was she harassed? Do you get me like she was harassed for exposing harassment? How does it make any sense? The court sentences Tong to five years for gang rape and for taking and distributing Wolka. Let's go. Che is sentenced to two and a half years for his part in the gang rape. <laughs> and Sing Lee is convicted of obtaining prostitutes for investors, embezzlement, right. Mocha, and inciting violence. Mocha. He was sentenced to one year and six months. One year and six months. Damn. The former club staff tell us little has changed. That's a weekend to them. <laughs> what the fuck? There's no difference between... Wait. Burning Sun and current club. So this guy is the... Uh, he used to work at Burning Sun. Okay. And inciting violence. Tell us little has changed. No difference between Burning Sun and current clubs. 
There was a lot of coverage about GHB, the, the dr drug. They're still using him in mic. Wait, 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 wait. This guy is not working for Burning Club. He's just a guy who works for a club. So he's saying it's still happening, okay? And some reports of crime from the Burning Sun scandal never made it to court. When I think about my case, I don't anticipate, I don't anticipate that justice will be served. But I think I should speak up when I can. I want the perpetrator to forever blame himself and feel guilty. Yeah, cut his dick off. For fuck's sake. I think I've merely thrown a single pebble into a huge pond. That's how wild this is that this is nothing compared to what's still happening. She's saying it's a single pebble in a whole pond. Yo, it's a rabbit hole. Wait, wait, no, no, it's an iceberg. And it's just the tip of the iceberg. These men should get their dicks cut off. That's the solution. Uh, maybe, yeah. Have you seen the movie 21 Female Kotayam? It's an Indian movie. Yeah, everyone should watch that. Every guy, every boy in the world should watch that. <laughs> That's what you get for being a weirdo. You get revenge. I need these ladies to get revenge. And not just some white boy revenge where it's just click, clack, pow, and that's it. No, we need torture. Torture, motherfucker. What? We need torture so they can learn. Single pebble into a huge pond. But against the issues around sex and power that have been accepted for decades, I think it made a single warning against them. Yeah, she did her thing. Reported sex crime involving Molka has risen tenfold in the last... Yo, let me read. Reported sex crimes involving Molka. I don't know what Molka is, okay? I guess it's... I gotta Google it, okay? Let me Google it. Molka is an abbreviation of Mole... Molae camera, which means sneaky camera. Ah, okay. Got it, got it. Got it. Reported sex crimes involving Molka have risen 11 for... I've never heard anyone use 11 fold, bro. It's supposed to be 10 fold. They use 11 fold. Why? Because it goes to 11. In the last 15 years in South Korea. For fuck's sake, man. Why are you putting... I can't see what you're writing, BBC. You don't have English subtitles. You won't even let me read the ending. Fewer than half make it to what? Sort it out. Who's your social media manager? Sort I it mean, out. I mean, me Ice Cube. That's my... I, okay, this is a different video now. Check it out. No. I, check what out. Okay. So that's that. That was fucked up. Okay. I have nothing, nothing else to say about it. I've said my whole piece during the reaction video. Um, yeah. That's about it. Let's see what develops. If there's any updates, we'll see. I mean, tell me what you guys think about it. Are you familiar with this? This, this thing has been going on for, I think, there was a, vi a, a one hour video about it a year ago. Okay. This is a big thing in Korea, I guess. Right. Yeah. Tell me what you guys think about it and all. That's all for now. Peace.